Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be detangling my hair and doing a review plus comparison and the main brush that I'll be focusing on is the wet brush and this is the original detangler and with the bristles you're supposed to experience approximately 19% less damage and 56% less effort and it says that the exclusive ultra soft IntelliFlex bristles glide through tangles with ease, it minimizes pain, split ends and breakage and it lets you brush with less force so you can detangle with less damage to your hair and the handle provides a comfortable grip. What I'll be using is my detangling spray, hair scrunchies and the Garnier Whole Blends Oat Delicacy hair mask and this is very hydrating and gave my hair lots of slip and it smells really good as well. And when I'm finished to soothe my scalp I'll be using the OGX Refre Refreshing Scalp Plus Tea Tree Mint Shampoo and Conditioner. When detangling my hair, I start at the bottom and I work my way up and I found with using this brush since it has a lot of bristles, it did a good thorough job at getting all the tangles out and sometimes when I would brush my hair, it would glide through this section very easily plus it clumped and helped my curls to get nice and defined and other times an already detangled section would still get stuck at the ends since my hair is so curly. I found with having such tight curls, using this brush didn't make the detangling process faster or easier. And since my hair was very tangled, my curls would sometimes get stuck in the little balls that were at the end of the bristles, which was very annoying. So this did do a thorough job at combing my hair, but I just didn't like that it got stuck every so often. But I did like that when I was detangling my hair, it did a nice job at clumping my curls. So I think that this brush will be better at styling tight curls versus detangling it. When comparing the wet brush to the Tangle Teaser Wet Detangler, they worked very similarly, but the biggest difference was the bristles. So I liked how the Tangle Teaser brush glided through my hair without snaking it, which made the detangling process easier compared to the wet brush. But overall, I'd say the process was moderate for time, but it was pretty easy and also clumped, separated, and it defined my curls very nicely. For detangling my nephew's hair, it was a completely different experience. The wet brush worked out so nicely for him and the entire process took under 10 minutes. And since he has such loose curls and his hair is very fine, I found that the bristles glided through his hair with ease and detangling and styling his curls was super quick and then afterwards I diffused his hair with my Conair blow dryer and I let the rest of his hair air dry and his curls were nice and soft, shiny and defined. Overall, for my hair type, honestly, nothing beats using a wide tooth comb. When I'm detangling my hair, this process can be a little bit challenging and I always found that a wide tooth comb did a good job at just being gentle on my hair. I would say that since it is a wide tooth comb, yes, it may not get all the tangles out, but it does get the majority of the tangles out. And I find that this is an easy and a fast process and this will always be my go-to brush. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you want any more information about any of the products that I showed today, just check the description box below. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.